Hello, beautiful people out there in the world. How are you beautiful people feeling and doing today? It's been a beautiful day for me. It's been an enjoyous, and it has been a joyful. It has been a meaningful. It has been an, an exciting day, surrounded by beautiful people anywhere and everywhere I go and everywhere that I've been and that I've, I've went. Been nothing but beautiful people. Enjoyed the camaraderie of kind words and smiles. Watch, in, watching people's faces change right before my very eyes. <clears throat> you know, I live for that and I enjoy that. Like I said, beautiful people, like I've said before, the beauty is already there. It's already with you. It's already made up of you. You just have to position yourself. Allow yourself. Want to be even more of yourself. <clears throat> so that you can experience for yourself. Without just having to listen to me tell you. Or someone else tell you. To experience that beauty for yourself. You know. People spend a lifetime, unfortunately, looking for themselves, <clears throat> outside of themselves, searching for themselves, trying to find themselves, looking anywhere and everywhere, trying to find out who they are, trying to figure out their niche in life, who they were supposed to be, who they're meant to be. <clears throat> Searching, trying to establish that identity. Out of all the places that you look, out of all the places that they have not looked, out of all of the places that you have looked, and <clears throat> come up with endless results, <clears throat> the one place you have not looked and you are yet to look, and I encourage you to go, where you will be. So once you get there, you can introduce yourself. Once you arrive there, you can greet yourself. That one place that your beautiful self have not looked is inside of you. That's who you are. That's where you are. That's where you are to be found. Inside of you. And chances are, that person that you have been looking for and have been trying to find is right there in front of your face. You've been doing it all along. You've been engaging in that beauty and haven't even realized it because it's just become a common way of living and thinking for you. It's, it's, it's the normalcy for you. It's just a normal way of living and thinking. So you think nothing of it. While you are searching for it, trying to find it, you're already doing it. You're already living it and you're reliving it over and over again every day. You are reliving you over and over again every day. You are reliving being you. That one person, that one place that you have not looked. And for, for a number of reasons. One it is because we're, we're so honed in, uh, in in looking at somebody else and what somebody else is doing. You're not honed in and focused on who you are and trying to get acquainted with who you are within yourself. So that you can come to know yourself. You can meet yourself. You can greet yourself. Because you're honed in on what someone else is doing. I've said this before in times past. You have become someone else's promotion in their life. And you have not <clears throat> given yourself the notion. You have not considered the fact that 
all of the time that you invest in and spend in promoting someone else, what someone else is doing, and, and someone else's idea. And as a result of that fact, being who you are and getting to know yourself has been left has been left untainted, has been left unaffected, <clears throat> has been left unaddressed. Because you've been giving that address to someone else and what someone else is doing. Someone else who figured it out, someone else who have come to know who they are with what they enjoy doing or what they were meant to do or what they were created to do. You, you've given all of you to be in awe of them and what they're doing. You know, and that's okay in this perspective and in this place. You know, to a certain percentage. But you have to you have to be mindful of the things or of sort or what's important, what's significant, the order of things. You see, yours have, and who you are have been left, as I stated momentarily ago, un, un, has not been yet been tainted. It's still lying dormant, waiting for your presence in you to be felt. But you're honed in on somebody else's production, somebody else's promotion, building someone else up, establishing someone else. Upon doing so, left with ambiguous thoughts that have not or, or to, or, that are yet to be addressed pertaining to you, to see you through. And you have left your beautiful self unaddressed. And now you're left in a state of derision and confusion. You see, you're left in a state of derision and confusion as a result of the illusion. Because you're still being delusional. Don't be delusional in your thinking and in your living. Get acquainted with yourself. Everything that you need pertaining to you is in your soul and is filled to capacity with who you are and is waiting for you to be. Is waiting for you to come forth. Waiting for you to come forth and endorse, beautiful people. Endorse, endorse the being of you and who you are. Come forth. Greet yourself. Meet yourself. Stop by and visit yourself. Say hello and apologize to that beautiful soul of yours for, your, for taking so long. Having left it unaddressed, sitting there like a storage with all of you sitting inside of it, lying dormant. Waiting, waiting for you to come and get all of that stuff out of storage so you can use it and not abuse it, use it, not misuse it, put it into effect so you can connect and that beauty can, can connect with others to all you beautiful people out there in the world. Come smile with me. Frank Anderson, kind words and a smile on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Get to know yourself. To all you beautiful people out there in the world, have a smiling day.